so I recently came across this USB Wi-Fi adapter dongle the TP-Link AC600 and I'm really surprised at how good this thing is because even in this photo here I think this is an older unit that they have here or maybe it's newer I'm not too sure but the USB stick that I got has no case right no covering and it actually has a light on the right side and it's about maybe I'd say a fourth or a fifth less um, has less uh, length of about a fifth or a fourth than this one here and it sticks out probably like half of that length there which is amazing I mean the, the size of this thing is crazy the only concerning thing is it runs a little bit hot and I'm not too sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing but it actually works and it works quite nicely so I can't complain um, now the one thing that did run through my mind when I received this is will it run on Linux and luckily it did uh, it says here that it supports Linux um, and I was reading online when I was trying to set it up and some people were saying oh yeah it works right out of the box and stuff uh, for me it did not work right out of the box um, and it was a little bit confusing because a lot of people were saying a lot of conflicting things but ultimately I got it working and it works quite nice so I'll show you guys the uh, steps that I took and it's just very easy so if you come here uh, when I connect it first you might want to try to just connect it see maybe you have better luck than me it might work straight out of the box without a driver but uh, through the kernel support it didn't for, for me and I even did this just to see and uh, this is the only thing that I saw. It has no address, nothing, no MAC address, nothing, no identifying things. It's just LO. That's all that I saw, and it's still there, which is a little bit weird. But anyway, once I installed the driver, then this WLP0S20 uh, thing showed up here. Um, and this is the actual dongle here. But anyway, so to start off first, you want to install these two tools here. Um, maybe not PCI tools, I just installed it just because maybe I'd need it in the future. Um, this is just to query what um, PCI devices we have connected and what USB devices we have connected. It's a very small package, or they are very small packages. Uh, it's about, what, like half a megabyte, yeah, it's nothing. So I'm going to say no because I already got it. So then we do an LS USB to get all of our USB devices and we'll see here that this is the TP-Link AC600 wireless Realtek RTL8811 AU um, adapter here so if you got this one the following that you'll see should work for you right um, so now that we've done that let's clear the screen and we're going to install this package here this is the driver it's from the AUR and I'm using YAY to install it and if you want to see a video on how to set up uh, YAY for easy access to the AUR you can watch one of my previous videos but anyway um, just run YAY-S RTL 8821 AU-DKMS-GIT and this is the package name here so I'm not going to run it here because it's going to take some time on my laptop but uh, once you've done that just reboot your computer and one last thing that I forgot to mention is do a pseudo pacman syu before you start this just to um, update your system just just in case you know it, if you haven't updated your kernel or anything like that just to push everything up right just to not cause any conflict um, excuse my internet this is see it it's I'm confused as to whether or not my onboard Wi-Fi is bad or if it's just the uh, Wi-Fi around me that <laughs> is terrible. Um, because in some places this dongle here is just like a dream. In other places, it's not so great. Um, but sorry for beginning an update. But once you've rebooted, oh, you see, failed to retrieve. But anyway, I think it's the Wi-Fi. It's unreliable. Once you've uh, rebooted your system you should see that the LED on the dongle will start blinking and when that happens you hit the jackpot because that means that the dongle driver is on and it's reading it and it can function so um, 
I would do an IP uh, link uh, set um, WL oh one I think that's what it's called down uh, oh forgot need sudo so this is just to disable your um, onboard uh, Wi-Fi to turn it off deactivate it and I just do this because I think it's weird to have two Wi-Fi uh, antennas running at the same time I don't know I just it just it irks me maybe it has it won't have an effect or anything like that but to me I just think have one on at a time right but anyway once you've installed that you got the light blinking everything's all good you just do an NMT UI and then you will see the in activate connection here you're not seeing it now because I disabled my uh, PCI but it will say uh, PCI Wi-Fi and then under that it will say USB Wi-Fi and you can see all of your network here and everything should be working there like a dream um, again I haven't had any issues with this dongle I really actually like it it's pretty high quality very cheap price I think it's uh, 369 about 12 12 USD so it's very cheap it's one of it's very high quality well I gotta test it some more some more to see the longevity of it but I'm just shocked at the the size of this thing and the the price of it because I, I just can't imagine that you can make a dongle a 5g dongle for 12 USD I mean imagine like the cost of actually developing it but anyway uh, as always if you appreciate the content you like the fat fluffy hamster you like Rin because she's hot whatever no judgments the fat fluffy hamster will really appreciate a like and a sub and again I hope you found this useful